What is going on YouTube? It's Flopfish here and welcome to NHL Tips and Tricks episode number 6. Today we are going to be covering probably the most underused item in the game which is the dump in options. And what I mean by that is they are actually probably some of the most effective items I have used in this game once I started playing with them. Um, it is actually pretty interesting seeing how much, like, uh, how much more I was able to cycle and how much more possession I was gaining right right away right off um, the face offs and stuff so just to start here just a nice little intro and then let's go ahead and let's get into the rest of this game here uh, so right here you can kinda tell that uh, started up a different game and here's the first dump in that we're gonna look at which is the slap dump um, uh, it's pretty simple uh, you can just take a normal slap shot but especially when you're playing against a computer I highly recommend holding L2 for whatever reason it just seems to work better um, and you seem to have more control over it when you just when you hold L2 and take the slap shot and dump it in like you're gonna see here you can actually use a slap shot and shoot it on goal from behind the red line and get a rebound and you know maybe you could even score if you're pretty lucky um, you know like right here so for example take that slap shot outside and somehow manage to score I mean it's doable but it's one of those dump ins that's pretty useful if you ask me um, it's a quick way to get a shot on goal and it gets the puck deep every single time it is most effective when you bank it around the boards and when you have your team full on sprinting into the zone uh, that's when I would use it more often than not and like I said it's really really effective most of the times the goalies won't come out to challenge it so um, in this the next little thing we're gonna look at right here is the R2 and the right stick which is the I guess the kinda typical what you'd expect from a dump in um, and there's a bit of a few quirks with it and that is you wanna make sure you're skating in the direction you're dumping the puck in especially especially when you're in your own zone because if you're gonna flip the puck up and you're in your own zone and you just got it uh, you could be taking a delay game pen penalty but um what it's really used for is not only entering the zone but like I said earlier cycling like right here um, passes normally get intercepted there and it can just you know it just kind of cycles everything around keeps it fresh and it gets passed like over a couple defenders if you need to get it over people and odds are they probably won't knock it down um, there's also a few really really useful applications with it um, such as stretch passes they're actually you're gonna see a stretch pass right here uh, so I get the puck here and I'm just gonna flip it up because I know I have a player up there and it works really really well because most of the time the defenders can't jump 20 feet into there although it sometimes happens um, and you can get some nice little passes here once again here's a nice little play just dump it in around the boards and come out in front and it's it's something different you know um, it's another look at your offense another place your opponent has to cover and the more varied attacks you can have the better and that's one of the things you want to make sure you're doing with it is that making sure you're not dumping it in every single time and doing the same thing over again but making sure you're carrying in the puck as well or changing up the style of dumpings like for example the slap dump works really well there because it just can kinda hit the boards and stop now when you're doing the slap dump make sure you know where you're aiming it because if you're gonna aim it into the corner uh, sometimes it will bounce right back out to the defenders and you will lose your possession or it'll go right to the goalie so you want to make sure you get the puck deep first and foremost and then after that everything else is kinda gravy but once again it's a nice little change to get a break um, a break from if you're hemmed in in your own zone you can just kinda flip it up and or dump it in and like right there just dump the puck in you know it kills some time off the clock and you know I get the puck in deep and generate a chance well could have generated a chance but um, actually if you watch what the computer did here like it's pretty good technique is just dumping it in but I would have more than one person and right here uh, I was just trying to see if I could hit the empty net with the slap shot but uh, you can actually use it like especially when you're on the penalty kill um, especially against I would highly recommend using the slap shot dump in because and that's the L2 in a slap shot because that one will more likely than not not be stopped by defenders 
and whereas the R2-1 can often be stopped by defenders and often doesn't get up high enough or hard enough as you would like. But anyways guys, that's the end of this episode. Uh, hopefully it helped you in any way, shape, or form. Uh, just a brief little recap, you have two kind of dumping choices. One is the slap shot dumping, which works really good on the penalty kill, or if you want to get a shot on the goalie from just behind the blue line. Then you have the R2 dumping, uh, the slap shot uses, uses the L2. The uh, regular one, the flip, kind of uses the R2. And it's really good if you want to do some stretch passes, but make sure you're skating forwards with the puck. Anyways guys, hopefully you enjoyed this. Take it easy and peace out. And if you want to see more tips and tricks, you know, feel free to subscribe and comment below with what you want to see. See ya.